So I keep picking up on somebody who was observing you, investigating you, spying on you. Like they may have even hired a private investigator to look into your life, figure out your daily routine, your daily habits, what you do. And based off the information that this person received, they decided that they don't want to offer you something, whether it was an intimate partnership or professional partnership, whatever it was that they had you in mind for. They don't have you in mind for it anymore because of what they were told about how you live and what you do, okay? So I'm recording this because I'm curious to see. But look, God blocked it. Know that. So if this person was blocked from pursuing you or giving you an offer, God blocked it for a reason. But let's just see what comes out in the IB North. I'm telling you, he had somebody on your ass for a minute, watching your every move, figuring out exactly what you do with your time, like how you live inside your home. I feel like somebody may have even been inside your home. Look what I cut the deck on. I'll be fresh as hell if the feds is watching. I'm telling you. Somebody who had the authority and the ability to even survey with you in this way was doing this to check you out. Like they was running some sort of extensive background check on you to ensure that you were upright or you had the character. They wanted to see how you live, okay? And from what they saw, they don't think they can fuck with you. Y'all don't live the same. Y'all don't do things the same. There's something about what you deem to be important, what you spend money on in your home. You're not one of those people who is going to blow $10,000 on no living room furniture set. That's not you, okay? You probably wouldn't even blow five grand on a living room furniture set. That ain't you. You choose to spend your money in other ways. It's nothing wrong with doing either or, but it's something like that, like... Two, two, two. There's a there's some difference between how you what you view to be valuable and what they view to be valuable. So let's do one more shuffle because God blocked it. Know that it's back on the bottom, and let's see what else the Holy Spirit wants us to know. Okay, let's see. Let's just see what comes out. Holy Spirit, what what do you want us to know about this? Please and thank you from you through me. Don't tell. So this was a secret. This person was obviously surveillancing you and investigating you unbeknownst to you. There may have even been people around you who were questioned about you. They don't they may have not known who the primary source was that was having them question or who was wanting to know random things about you. But they, you know, it's, it's like a, a secret about you that you don't know about. 333, three, three. we have go away. What this person secretly learned about you has made them decide that they don't want to fuck with you no more. But I'm telling you, you're being spiritually protected from something about this person, okay? It's something about this person that would make you and them equally yoked, and it's not anything to do with aesthetics. It may have something to do with spirituality, warlock or wizard is on the bottom, but let's see, because I am picking up that God blocked this partnership, this possibility of a partnership, because Holy Spirit, they came out here now, I'm trying to tell you, because this person what and right for you they they wanted to, de to decide that you weren't right for them but baby i'm telling you they was trying look it's something about you being like a free spirit hippie vibe you have things you own things but you're not into what a lot of people are into when it comes to the american dream four 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 on the clock you are spiritually protected. It's something that God was protecting you from about this person. But this is your vibe, okay? Very free-spirited, hippie-type energy. You are not attached to 
objects. You're not you're not attached to a tradition of how people think you should live, how your home should be, what you should do. Okay? That's not a measure of who you are. I'm hearing all of this specifically, but that was a measurement for this energy. We have she hurt. Okay. Now, I wasn't picking up that this was no feminine. I'm picking up that whoever this was that was investigating you, whoever they're currently with now, they found out about you. They found out about this person inquiring into your life, and they were hurt when they found out that they were even interested in that type of broad and artist energy because whoever this person is currently partnering with, 555. I didn't call 222, 333, 444, and 555. And I'm not always looking directly at the clock or the phone when I'm channeling. But whoever he is currently partnering with, you and this person are total opposites. But he was still attracted to you before he even knew anything about your daily beat. And look what then came out here again. I should have pulled Warlock or Wizard Child because that's what it's given. That's what it's given now. Because look what came out here. God blocked it. Know that. Got to say it again, child. I'm trying to tell you it's something about this person that wasn't right. Definitely for who you are and where God has spiritually led you. Y'all was not on the same path, okay? Enough is enough. I feel like this person has been on your ass for a while. Somebody been on your ass for a while. I had picked up earlier today that somebody is following you around literally when you're out and about, even when you be out in the store and shit. There's somebody watching you and you don't recognize this person because you don't know them. But if you caught their face, you would recognize their face in the crowd other places you would be. But you just don't know what, what face to pick up on. Because this motherfucker be following you everywhere. And I may do a reading on that, but that might, that might have something to do with this. I feel like God saw how these people were invading your privacy. Because somebody has peeped in your home, however they done did that. But they didn't do it with your consent. These people have definitely overstepped some boundaries to see what your life is like, how you live, how you eat, how you clean, how you decorate, how you wash your ass, where you go, if you exercise, what you buy, what you spend your money on. They 808 when I was saying that, I'm trying to tell you. They definitely been all up in your shit and the Holy Spirit is saying, clear your energy because God is trying to evolve you from this situation, okay? The situation that you ain't even know what's going on, but that he, God kept them from him from coming towards you and possibly this other woman too. Look what they came out here. A real stripper's life, remote viewing. Okay, so this is the type of vibe that you give. Artists a real strippers life. You can take what you want to take from that card. That's what I generally suggest at this point. Okay, but I'm telling you, they ass was on you. Somebody was spiritually spying on you for sure. That's also why God said enough is enough. Because these people were peeping into your Akashic records. Spiritually spying on you, possibly doing some sort of mirror magic. Okay, so enough is enough with all of that shit. And whatever this person reported back to this masculine energy, he didn't like it. He was like, no, I don't think I really want to fuck with her. It's something about how you live. So be grateful. Look, he could be a king of wands. Be grateful that this king of wands chose not to pursue you in the life of life ahead. Because at one point, this man thought that you were his soulmate. I don't know. I'm going to leave that right here. Because right behind that was haters. 
Haters was trying to say you was crazy, that you might have been sick in the head, maybe even sick physically, sick or ill, okay? Because they ain't want you to be with this person. We got fate. But see, that let me know that he got energies around him who ain't right. That's why God blocked it. His mindset has been dehabilitated by these haters who didn't want this man to think that he was your soulmate, okay? So they, they tried to make it seem like you were crazy. It's something this man said about how you be doing in your home. It's something like, you know how you be talking to yourself or like not really talking to yourself, but like say you watching a, a television show and somebody do something stupid or says something wise or charismatic and you respond or you make a comment like, I hear you, girl. Like if somebody says a, a real clever statement on a sitcom you watching or something, okay? 11-11, you know, indulge me. Y'all know what the hell I'm talking about, Okay. You're talking to you're talking out loud and it may not be nobody there to respond back to that statement you said in response to what you're viewing. OK, but it's given like they try to take shit like that and make it seem like you be talking to yourself like you crazy, you know, like you be on some other shit with it. You feel me? This person tried to say you were sick in the head somehow like they observed that and them trying to see what was up with you. But there is something faded between you and this person, but who they dealing with and what they into right now, God don't want you to have nothing to do with that because it's something big, okay? Look, what child, I'm trying to tell you, God is blocking this man from entering your life because whoever or whatever he's tied to, it's not right. It ain't right, and he ain't, he don't know which self to listen to right now, 1221. So until he clean up shit, he can't be with you like that, no way. No matter what he think, look, because something is broken about the energies that this King of Wands has around himself. And if you would have partake, partook, rather, in anything with him, this is where you would be at, Okay. So it's definitely something he needs to heal within him because it's falling right up under the king of wands. So it wasn't the right time. That is life though. Okay, because look at what he was doing to try to peer into your life. And that is life is falling right up under the life ahead. So maybe if this king of wands decides to clear up his shit and evolve from these haters... Maybe things could be different between you and him in the future because he went through a lot to see about you for him not to know who you were at all. So there obviously was some sort of kinetic, some sort of spiritual divine connection between the two of y'all. Okay. Anything else, Holy Spirit? And we're going to look at the tarot, y'all. Let's see what else the tarot got to say. But I'm t creative. He's going to get creative, I feel. He's going to start switching up some shit with, with himself. I feel like that's what the universe is urging him to do. Because you are creative. You are some sort of eclectic, mystic, gypsy type energy. You know, you probably like to dance if you ain't never danced for nobody before. You probably like to paint. You probably like to, you like music. You're very artistic, creative. So whoever this is, I feel they're very conservative, but they want to get in alignment with you still. Even though, even though this person told them they shouldn't fuck with you and they changed their mind and they let it go. This person is still thinking about how they could possibly be in alignment with you one day, okay? 
Cause see, right, this what these people tried to say you was some old crazy in the head concubine child. But he saw something else with that 5D connection that you and him shared. I'm telling you, some and this person might be married. I'm telling you that she hurt is another woman. So they was trying to see what was up with you before they made any moves with their current partnership. It, they were trying to see if it was worth the risk, child. Okay. So let's see what else the Holy Spirit may want us to know about this. Holy Spirit, I'm telling you, he abandoned the idea of coming towards you for now. I'm here for now. It wasn't time. God blocked that shit. Because there's something this man got going on. These haters, these haters have done some shit they shouldn't have done that this man is possibly connected to. And it's some things he needs to heal and fix. Before he could be with you anyway, before he can get in alignment with you, he got to deal with these haters, child. So, Holy Spirit, what else would you like for us to know about this, please? And thank you. What other insight and guidance would you like for us to receive about this download and this energy that we have received thus far? Holy Spirit, what is the message from you through me? At this time, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. What would you like for us to know? Messages, Holy Spirit. What else here? What else here do we need to know, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. Ace of Cups. This is how this man feel for you now. This this how this what he think about you now. No matter what this these haters have said. Okay. No matter what this investigator, this spy was saying, this king of wands, because there his ass go. He said, I'm going to go and pop out here. Ace of Pentacles. The, he still views you as something valuable. He just can't get down with how you live. What, it's something about how you live, girl. You might be too poor for him. You know how that go, child. Some people, you know, people be like the woman. I don't know. I know it'd be a lot of women out here trying to make sure men straight, but I know it's a lot of men who be out here trying to make sure women straight, okay? So maybe you ain't got as much as he got, and he may feel like you're not cultured enough, I just heard. Like you ain't had no etiquette classes or nothing. But baby, I'm not even finna get into that. You know, you just have to let people assume shit about you and just keep moving forward with your life because God will prepare a table now for you to show all the etiquette that you got right in front of their face for doubting you. And it's something this man still seeing you to know that you got all the etiquette, 1818, that he need to be happy, to be abundant, to thrive. To be at peace. Okay. That's what he know. So. Right now. He ain't fucking with it. But I'm telling you. That's how God want it. And I'm also telling you. That he know who you are. No matter what this hater said about you. And how you live. And this here go to your yin yang energy. He do plan on. Balancing the scales between. You and him. One day. But he got to clean up some shit because there's some sort of brokenness within this man, which is causing him to miss the mark on these people that surround him, these people that he depend on to guide him and get it, get him, get advice from because he gets advice from these people. But he's he, his brokenness, whatever he's broken and sad about is. It's causing him not to know which self to listen to. And when he heals, he's going to tap in and know that the self he's been listening to ain't been leading him in the right direction. Maybe aesthetically, it's leading him in the right direction, but emotionally, mentally, spiritually, it, they're not leading him the right way. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Child, look what came out here. I'm trying to tell you. 
Nine of Wands. You know, he, he's struggling with something internally. But he knows who this Queen of Wands is. This creative, this artist, this stripper. You know, they try to say, I don't know if you know stripper or not. Maybe you used to be a stripper. Okay? Even if you only strip for a week and a half, that shit gonna stick 2022 with you forever. Okay? But, you know, you got to let people think what they want to think. You got to let them assume what they want to assume and just keep living your life. And whoever I'm speaking to, Queen of Wands, that's what you've been doing. Because you don't even know who the fuck this is, what they want. You, you don't even know that your privacy has been invaded. But he do. And despite everything that he's learned about you, at the end of the day, even though he's openly rejected you to these random haters this man still want to be with you he still can't stop thinking about you he's been trying to connect with you spiritually four of swords with the page of wands page of swords behind that oh yes he has he's been trying to tap in and see what the fuck you got going on okay he don't want to give it up even though he did give it up he gave it up but he don't want to. He's still watching your ass. Know that. What else, Holy Spirit? Not maybe watching you through this other person because he don't want people to know that he's still pressed about you. But he's doing some sort of astral projection, something he's able to spiritually peep, on, peep in on you if he ain't physically peeping in on you. We got the Knight of Swords with the Chariot, child. That's why I said, I feel like this man, he coming back. He coming on back through. This give ambition all day. It's giving, they do not expect me to go be with this woman. Then he don't like how they was talking about you neither. Know that, okay? They done called you a hoe and all, girl. And I think, I don't know if I would say, finish my statement because I had gotten to the stripper thing. But you know, they say a queen of wands is somebody who can use what she got to get what she want at a low vibration. And I think they, they tried to say that about you. Because we did see concubine. I don't know if I pulled it or not. I can't remember. But they definitely tried to say that about you. But if you a concubine, he want to make a hoe into a housewife, Okay. With this Ten of Pentacles here, I, you know, that's what it was looking like to me. Because the Ten of Pentacles is falling right up under the Ace of Pentacles. So, you know. Anything else, Holy Spirit? What's going to be the final outcome of this? Because one thing Holy Spirit ain't even put no effort into is whoever they currently partnering with. Because I'm telling you, he still sees you as his ideal love choice his ideal partner but he he got to fix some shit with this world card and i think he's realizing that i think he is i just heard superficial he's realizing that he may be superficial there are some things that are restricting him okay that that have restricted him from you like the fact that this man might be married with this King of Pentacles, that's also falling up under the Five of Cups. So either way, whether he had decided to pursue you or not, he was still going to have to get a damn divorce. He still had some decisions he had to make with this Two of Swords before he could bring you any offer with this Page of Cups. Okay? So I think it's, it was possible probably easier to just concede and say okay i'm not going to even worry about fooling with her because y'all saying all this about her plus i'm gonna have to divorce my wife and do deal with all of that bullshit so it may not even be worth it based off what y'all said so i'm gonna just chill that's what this king of pentacles king of wine said now but then his conscience his spirit his soul said you need to have a new perspective because this Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles got your ass on an emotional roller coaster. Okay? 
for you to even have did everything you did just to even see what was up with her. She got your ass going. So for you to try to say, oh, I'm not going to do or deal with her because of what they think, child boo. This man ain't really worried about what these people think at the end of the day. Because I'm telling you, he trying to figure out how or what he need to fix within him so that he can adjust and be in alignment with her and how she live and what she think. Okay? Nine of Cups. It's about his wishes coming true and his wish come true is to be with this woman. So if he need to become independent of some people, places, and things and what they want in order for his wishes to come true, he's going to do that. And also, one thing I'm noticing about this man compared to the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles, he's not draped in robes. He ain't wearing no crown. He ain't got on all that lavish shit because it's something about lavishness and etiquette with this right here okay it's something about that shit you might be country i don't know but just because you country don't mean you slow and just because you country don't mean you ain't been raised and you don't know how to work a room you don't know how to turn a crowd i don't know what i'm picking up on but they tried to say you what you ain't have the skills and abilities my dear and they just don't know who they fucking with they don't know who they was investigating. They ain't do a good job for who I'm picking up on. Because, baby, you got some home training now. But he going to have to drop all of them all them bells and whistles if he want to fuck with you the long way. And he know that. That's why he ain't got on all that shit on that Nine of Cups card. Okay? He know that that's, some, that's a facade. All that extra bullshit, that shit don't make nobody. I don't give a fuck how laid out your house is. That shit don't mean you a good person. That shit don't mean that you aren't talented or respectful or know, know which fork to use or know to put your lap can, napkin in your lap. It's some shit like that I'm picking up on heavy. Like this man would have wanted to know if you would know how to how to behave or even dress if he if he took you somewhere around people of a high caliber something like that here now okay but he just don't know you a hippie and an artist and all that by choice whoever i'm picking up on hell you didn't came out here as this nine of pentacles we got the five of wands i'm telling you, he know he know he know He's very conflicted. He know you got some haters. And he know them haters are on his team. Because he know. Even though these people said you ain't shit. He know you the shit. I'm telling you. I'm picking up on it. Two of cups. He knows that they tried to cause some disarray between the two of y'all. And how he viewed you. So that you wouldn't get in a partnership with him. Because, baby, look, oh, you know how to get dressed now. Look at that lady. You know how to pin your hair. You know which frocks to choose. Okay? You know how to damn arch that back. You know how to bring that fork to your mouth instead of your head to the plate, child. Come on now, somebody. This These people tried to play you. Now I'm picking up on it. And he know better. He know. He know better now. That's why he's still trying to fuck with you. I had not got loud. I'm telling y'all, I was hearing this shit. He know. Knight of Wands. He knows. He knows what's up with you. Intuitively, he know that you can boss up to any type of challenge, any type of whatever the fuck. You gonna come. You gonna come through. You gonna show up and you gonna show out if you by his side. He know that. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Because these people that irritated me. Because I'm damn sitting up here trying to defend your case. Because I'm picking up on who you truly, authentically are, and I'm picking up on who they said you were. And the math ain't mathing. Your energy is not what they were trying to say it is. 
We have the Ten of Wands because they wanted him to give up on you. They wanted him to think that you were too, too, it would be too much to fix up. Okay, y'all know what it's giving. Because I don't know why I'm picking up all, on all these movies lately because I ain't watched none of these movies, child. Maybe the people I'm picking up on like these different movies I be that keep popping out. But Bats is what's popping out here to me. Like, after, I think her name is Natalie DeSalle. She didn't pass now. Rest in peace. And Halle Berry, when they fixed them up, when they took off, well, not fixed them up, but just changed their look. Because they wasn't fucked up. Nah. They wasn't fucked up. Nah. They just had a different style. They did things differently, but they were still good women. Okay? They were still women who could work a crowd or please the people around them. Their, their aesthetics may have bristled or ruffled a few feathers initially, but they won people's hearts over. This is the energy of this divine feminine. And these people wanted this masculine to think that he would have to fix her and train her and do too much and you know, whatever her background is, you know, people may find out about it. I don't know what the fuck this is, but nevertheless, he ain't going for it. You know, he finna try to figure out how he can live and be like her so they can be together. Look, child, I'm telling you, this man, if he got to give up some, give up some of that lavish life, that's what he finna do. Look at the difference in his clothing. This man don't even got no shoes on. His pants is too short. Okay, that's the type of vibe he on. If he got to be a, a poor hippie with her ass, that's what he going to do, damn it. Okay, and I'm dropping the mic. I'm dropping it. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance on how to move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace, y'all.